Okay guys, so welcome back again. So before saving data in our database, we need to know about three things and those three things are the query strings, the route parameters and the request body. So let's see what are query strings. So whenever you go to a website and you have this kind of a URL that is localhost port 3000 forward slash products and question mark ID equal to six. So the query string is this string that is after the question mark we have ID equal to six. So this is basically a query string that is ID equal to six. And from this query string, we can extract the key value pairs that is here. We only have a single key value pair that is ID equal to six. So basically this kind of a URL is a URL with the query string included in the URL. And now let's see what are route parameters. So let's suppose we go to this route here that is localhost port 3000 forward slash products and forward slash six. So if we want, we can extract this six. Basically that's the ID of the product and this can be extracted as a route parameter. So basically it can be extracted inside an express application using request.params. And if you have more parameters, then those can also be extracted. And once we are inside our express application, we'll see that how do we parse the query string and how do we parse the route parameters. And now let's see, what is a request body? So let's suppose we want to make a post request to this route here that is localhost port 3000 forward slash products and we are making a post request here and the headers we are sending here is the content type header and its value is application JSON. So it means that we are sending a JSON body in the request and this is an example of a JSON body that we are going to send inside our request. And this can be passed inside our express application using request.body. But we have to do something before we can use this request.body thing here. And now suppose if you are making a post request to the same URL here that is forward slash products. And this time the content type header you are sending is form URL encoded. If you are sending this header, then your request body would look something like this. That is, it is not a JSON object here, but you are sending it like a query string here, like name equal to iMac Pro and price equal to 2399. And this can also be passed using the same request.body object here. So now let's see how do we parse this request.body and how do we parse this query string and how do we parse the route parameters. So let's go inside our express application and here what I'll do, I'll go to my app.js file here and here, just before the product route, I'll create a new route that is for testing purposes only. So I'll say app.all and basically this all means it is a wildcard for all the HTTP verbs that are get, post, put, patch and delete are all handled by this route here. We do not have to make separate routes for each of them, but we are handling it here inside the single route. And it is for testing purposes only. So let's say we want to go to this test route here that is called test. And here we have a callback function that takes in two parameters. That is the request and the response. And now what I'll do, I'll console log here three things. That is the request.query, the request.params and the request.body. So let me console log those things here. So console.log request.query like this. So now let's save it. And now let's go to our REST API client here. And here at the very bottom, let me make a request to that route. That is get HTTP localhost port 3000 and forward slash test. And here, firstly, I'm passing in the query string and the query string would be name equal to iMac and price equal to 2399. So if we save this and if we go to our app.js file here, and after logging in the query here, what we want to do, we want to send back the query itself. So we can simply say response.send request.query like this. And now let's save it. And now let's go to our REST client back again. And now let me try sending a request to this route here. So let's send a request here. So we see here in the console that we are getting name, iMac and price 2399. And this is coming from this thing here. That is the request.query. And if we want to get the value of the name parameter, so what we can do, we can simply say console.log request.query.name like this. So now let's save it again and let's go to our let's client and let's again send a request here. We see that we are getting this thing here. Firstly, we are logging in the query. That is the name iMac and price 2399 and we are logging in the value of the name parameter that is this property here. So this is how basically query strings works. So now let's send another request to the same route that is this route forward slash test and this time we would be passing in the route parameters. So let's copy this thing from here 
and let's paste it here and instead of uh, passing in the query string we delete the query string and here we pass in something like we pass in some id and just think that this is an id of something and we want to get this id inside our application that is this uh, that is the id starting with 87 and ending with 34 so let's see how do we get that so let's go to our app.js file and let me comment out this thing from here and after the test thing here we are getting something and let's call it id and we have to put a colon before id and if we can see that this route that is forward slash test, test forward slash colon id is kind of matching this thing here that is this route here here that is forward slash test and forward slash some id so what we can do how do we get this id inside our application it is very simple to do we can access the request dot parameters here so we can simply log it inside our console so console dot log and here we can say request dot params not the param but the params and if we save this application and let's also send the response back so response dot send and we are sending the same params back so request dot params like this so let's save it and now let's make a request to this route here so let's send it so we see we are getting this thing here that is id is this thing here that is the id this thing here and this key that is the id is coming from this id here because we have provided the key here and the value is coming from the client side here if you want to pass in more parameters it is very simple you can simply put forward slash and then the key name here and the key is the name here and then inside our rest client what we can do we can send in a name here like imac so firstly let's save our app.js file and now let's go here and now let's make a send request here so let's send a request here so we see that we are parsing all the route parameters that are that is the id that is this id and the name is imac this and these keys that is the id and name is coming from this thing here that is we have provided in the keys here that is the id and the name so this is how you parse query strings and route parameters so now let's see how do we parse the request body that is coming from the client side so let's make a post request here for sending in a request body so we can say post and we are going to make the post request to the same url that is the test url like this and here we would be sending in the header that is the request header so request header would be content type and because we want to send in json type so we can say application json like this and then we can send in our request body and our request body would be name name would be imac pro like this and the price and this is all json price would be two, uh, 4999 like this so now let's save it and now let's go to our app.js file now let me comment out this thing from here and let me also remove this thing from here because we want to make a post request to this forward slash test route so now let me log in the request body so console log request dot body like this and we also want to send a response so let's uh, send this request body as the response itself so response dot send would be the request dot body like this so now let's save it and now let's go to our rest client here and now let's send a request so let's send a request here and we see that we are not getting anything back and moreover we are not able to log anything inside our console because to use this request dot body we have to use a middleware so what we can do we can go at the very top of our application and just after we have initialized our express application here what we can do we can write our middleware here that is app dot use and here in the brackets we pass in express dot json simply like this and now let's press save and now let's go back to our rest client and now let's try sending the request and let's see if we are able to parse the request body so let's send a request so we see that we are able to parse the request body and we are also getting the request body back here in the response so this is how you parse the request body and moreover we are only parsing the request body that has a header of content type of application json as we are sending this header here that is application json but what if if we want to send in a request body that has a content type of url encoded form body so let's copy it and let's 
make another type of request here that has a content type header of application form URL encoded like this and then the form URL encoded body is written like this so name equal to iMac and price equal to 4999 so now let's save it and now let's send a request so we see here that we are getting here an empty body and the response is also empty because this express application is not able to parse this type of request that has a content type of application www form url encoded and now to parse this type of body that is this type of body with the header of form url encoded what we need to do just after this line that is app.use express.json we need to set another middleware and that middleware is called app.use express.url encoded and here in the brackets we need to pass in options and that option should contain one value only and that is extended to be true and why we pass this extended to be true that is to make this url encoded form body to work like json so let's save this application and now let's go back to our rest line and if we make a send request here we see that now we are able to parse this request body that is this type of request body that is called a form url encoded form body so guys now you know what are query strings what is a route parameter and how do you parse the request body so in the next video we'll be creating our first product and we'll be saving it to our mongodb so till then have a good time